takeover. The TTT that we're facing. Charlie Skelton, London Guardian reporter, who was basically uh, escorted by the police down off the mountain miles away from Bilderberg yesterday, will be joining us to give us his take on the situation as the criminal confab uh, prepares to get underway at noon our time. Already basically going. They begin arriving at noon. It kicks off at about 6 or 7 at night. That's what time it is right now, 7 hours ahead in Austria. So it's, it's ongoing right now. We'll learn all the developments of the last 21 hours since we were live here uh, with our reporters. There's the front page, London Guardian. At the G7, we journalists were pampered. At Bilderberg, we're harassed by police. So that's coming up. Larry Clayman, founder of Judicial Watch, heads up Freedom Watch USA, has a cornucopia of breaking intel that he's going to be joining us. Uh, we know that two members of the U.S. Supreme Court are being targeted by spies. And it's all part of a larger blackmail operation. This is over the top important information with Larry Clayman, a true trailblazer. Uh, joining us in the third hour. Charlie Skelton for 30 minutes, Larry Clayman for a full hour. We're working on getting Mark Dice right now. We were working on getting him on tomorrow. Well, we have him for tomorrow, but I want to move him to today. We're just so busy. We haven't done a story on this, but RT picked it up. He went out, talked to Californians, Obama voters. I mean, they're the dumbest people on earth. I'm sorry. Conservatives have their problems and can be horrible police state pushers. But they do know how to wipe their butts. And I hate to use that analogy, but man, it's the only one that fits. You go talk to random Californians. They are the stupidest, most fascistic people I've ever seen. And Californians will tell you those aren't Californians. They're idiots that have moved in there looking to get rich quick or whatever. Uh, but Obama zombies, Americans sign prankster petition to nuke Russia. And but I mean, you, he'll say, we need to put gun owners in forced labor camps. And the liberals will go, absolutely, I'm sick of them. Let's, let's enslave them. They are ready, folks. If they arrest me tomorrow and put me in a forced labor camp, the average Democrat will hail it. Now, is that liberal? No, these are sick freaks. I told you, I've gone out to abortion clinics, and every time people run up and say, I love Satan, I want to kill babies. So I said, we're going to go out to an abortion clinic and see what happens. They show up. And I don't care where you're at that these demons come out from under rocks. It's the modus operandi. It's criminology. It's psychology. The more insane, the more demented, the more demonic a soul is, the more predictable. And we just have to come to grips with how sick these people are. Now, real liberals are great people. These folks are not it. But regardless, I'm playing the clip here. And Mark's really good at this because he just dryly walks over and goes, turn all the guns in and burn Jews in ovens for Obama. Open the borders and bring in world government and then have the Communist Manifesto be taught for Obama. Throw children to wood chippers for Obama. I mean, he could go that far. You say for Obama, they go into mind control, peer pressure mind control, and begin signing. So regardless, let's just get the whole RT article posted at InfoWars.com and send Drudge a link to it. He'll probably just link to the, um, if he does, uh, to the RT one. But it is just over the top to see this stuff. Speaking of Drudge, uh, one of our top stories on Bilderberg when we return, it's up on DrudgeReport.com. We're going to move it back to the front page of InfoWars.com. It broke last night. Bilderberg deploys high-tech jamming to shut down communications. Now, as soon as I saw the video of it, I knew what it was. Yes, it can jam, but that's not really what it is. It is a giant stingray system on steroids. And, and major departments all over the world have these. And we're going to break it down when we come back. Huge broadcast lined up today. We have Charlie Skelton, London Guardian reporter, who's been heavily harassed by police. This is basically the worst he's ever seen. He's writing in The Guardian. At G7, we journalists were pampered at Bilderberg. We were harassed by police is the headline. He first started covering Bilderberg, I guess, about 10 years ago, nine years ago. And at first, he was making jokes about it. And then when he got there, he quit making jokes real quick. Uh, and it totally politically changed his outlook. And now he's a serious journalist. He was a humor columnist uh, for The Guardian. 
and then now he doesn't think things are funny. After he's been arrested and harassed and spied on and everything else that uh, he's gone through. You see, one cannot be told about the matrix. One has to see it for themselves. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the hole goes. You take the blue pill, and you go back to fantasy land. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. And we see everything interconnected. Look at these headlines, Breitbart, and there's video of it. Paul Ryan's Pelosi esque Obama trade moment. And here's the quote Talk about Orwellian. It's declassified and made public once it's agreed to. And then he goes on, they have the quotes where he was saying it's not secret, but now he's saying it's secret. That's like Senator Rubio getting up on the Senate floor and saying that there's no spying period in America without warrants. I mean, that is an admitted lie, clapper-esque level fraud. When the head of the NSA got up and said, we don't spy on anybody. What is that? Uh, I never heard of it. And then his lawyer came out and goes, he forgot. Yeah, he just heads the NSA, building giant city size, you know, small town size complexes. Each building, hundreds of thousands of square feet, in some cases 15 buildings, spying on everything on record, all the whistleblowers, all the documents. And he goes, what? Spying? What? A I know nothing, nothing. It's ridiculous. But WikiLeaks has doled out another little doblet of part of a subsection. They have all 28 subsections. They said it was 33. Now it's 28. Now they've released two full sections and part of another. And surprise, surprise, it makes Obamacare worse. And it restricts all sorts of transactions. It's just horrible. Wow. And it's got climate taxes in it. Of course it does. I mean, we know what's in the EU. We know what's in the NAU. We know the agenda. It's always the same. And they won't let us see it like three times under Bush, the so-called immigration reform, but Senator Sessions would leak it each time. And then when we finally got Obama's new proposal, it was the exact same piece of legislation that they said was secret. Because they don't want you to see it because it's wildly unpopular, wildly unconstitutional. The only thing more wild is the 8% approval rating government in Gallup polls that continues to do this while amassing paramilitary force to try to illegitimately dominate a population that they have basically usurped. Here's another story. Revealed the secret immigration chapter in Obama's trade agreement. Discovered inside a huge tranche of secret of Obama trade documents released by WikiLeaks and key details on how technically a Republican voting for trade promotion authority, TPA, that would fast track trade deals like the Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal would technically also be voting to massively expand President Obama's executive authority when it comes to immigration matters. And it goes through the document. Of course, globalism gets rid of borders. Everything we've seen out of TPP is a regurgitation of what we saw in 2007 when Judicial Watch, the founder of which is joining us today, Larry Klayman, sued and got 3,000 plus pages of the meeting. And let me tell you, I read, I scanned over most of it. I read hundreds of pages of the stinking thing. That's why I quote it constantly because I actually read it. Usually I just go to key subsections other people have already read and go right to the points. I mean, there's just tens of thousands of pages of this stuff a week to read. I can't read it all. But I spent time, as I was making the end game, reading that. And talk about a skeleton key to open every door on this. It's how they run the whole show. The corporations come in, the Fortune 100, they vote in a Congress. Then the secretaries of states so of the countries that are there actually just basically certify the whole thing. Take the orders, admit they're taking orders, and then vote. And then that vote 
certifying what they just said is seen as basically treaty law outside of law and then is implemented by bureaucracies and agencies even if it doesn't pass Congress. And that's their excuse whenever they ignore Congress. They go, we've already done deals with NATO. We've already done deals with the UN. We've already you know, done this. We're going ahead with it even if you don't ratify it. And Congress just wants to be able to not get the political heat. So they won't vote for carbon taxes or shutting down uh, power plants or opening borders or putting our military under NATO or arming Al-Qaeda. But they'll just kind of turn their head and watch it happen. But now they're transferring to the president incredible centralized control. Here it is. WikiLeaks releases more of Obama trade draft. Altering health care. Halting Medicare reform. Congress wouldn't be able to reform Medicare. It, 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 it ends our country's sovereignty. It's one of the final world government documents. And Paul Ryan says you can't see it. Now we got Rupert Murdoch preparing to step down as CEO from... 21st Century Fox, putting his son in, that's a big move. We've got huge Bilderberg news, our reporters joining us. A bunch of special reports that are very important. New Stingray systems that are even worse, and that's why I want to air this now. The minute I saw this report get filed last night, they were told by a, quote, informed local. They don't want to say by who. It was from someone who'd been inside the hotel, high level. We're just going to leave it at that. There are always people that do care about freedom and whose conscience pushes them. I'm going to skip this network break. This is so important. Only break I'm skipping. So station shouldn't leave us here in three minutes because there's a network break coming up. <sighs> the minute I saw the truck, because I talked to Paul about it when they got the video yesterday, and it was near dark that they got up there, and we're the only journalist so far to find a back road to get up and get actual video of the hotel. Notice all we have was photos. No one else has gotten video. Talk about something out of a science fiction movie. It looks like something from Geedy Prime. There's this big step pyramid, uh, Aztec style building. I expect they'll shoot dust till dawn two there. And the locals are really upset and they go, no, we've been told directly by the federal police that this is to jam communications. Well, I looked at the truck. We're going to show it here in a moment and play the video of your radio listener, Infowars.com forward slash show. We have the free video feed or DrudgeReport.com or Infowars.com. Both have the article from Infowars posted. You can go see the video in HD right there. But the minute I saw it, I said, guys, that doubles as basically a giant stingray. All the different arrays. Only one of the arrays is a jammer. Um, because I've talked to engineers in the past. I've been shown by folks, secret surveillance trucks that Dallas and Houston and Austin have uh, that are basically like the size of a beer truck. And then the sides open up into a whole communications command center. Uh, these awnings come out. Well, the German system's got four masts on it, or, or the Austrian system, same, same, same group. <laughs> and... What it does is it basically makes everybody's cell phone data go through it first. And they've got two more of the trucks out there that have extended even bigger towers, but they're out past the tree lines. You can only see the towers, but I'll assure you those are mounted on trailers or trucks. Three of them we can see. One truck, but two mast that have been extended. And so it's their own internal communication system because the federal government of Austria is putting this on. But it also grabs all the surrounding town's cell phone data and runs it through and spies on it for keyword right there at the site. So it's a giant stingray system to illegally harvest folks' data. That's what those trucks do. When they have a warrant, they go out and then follow the mafia around or whatever, or Russian smugglers or whatever. That's what Austrians deal with a lot. And, 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 and then can track everything that's happening, no matter how many phones you know, the criminal group is using, uh, they've got a warrant to target that whole spectrum and to hone in on who it is. That's, though, how they've expanded this out so wide now that it includes everybody. So this is a big international story that NSA-style systems are being deployed to defend against the press 
and coverage of the secretive group. Just like TPP secret, this is secret because it's the very same group and they